Oh, it's windy. Okay, guys. So what's going on, guys? It's fire in here. It's very windy. We got Christina and Zach. We just got to Amvets. Guys, it's getting really windy out. We're supposed to be getting a blizzard today, but we're going sourcing right now. Before it gets too bad, we're gonna hit up a couple stores. So this is thrifting for gold number 11. Hopefully you guys can hear me. So what are you looking for? Let's find anything good over here? It's like a purple. Yeah. Thought I found some good stuff. Thought this would have been good, but for four bucks, there's a lot of like deodorant stains, and I'd have to wash it. Probably could only sell it for about 15 after taxes and shipping. It wouldn't even be worth it. So always keep an eye out for that too. If you have to like put your time into it as well. Sometimes you don't want to be spending, I don't know, like five hours on a single product. That's my quick tip. <laughs> we have a Nemo Hello Pet. And then we're gonna bundle this with another mug that looks just like it. <laughs> it was 50 cents. And then this All Star mug. Cause mug life, right? <laughs> mug life. <laughs> And then this for your mom. She yeah, <laughs> that's for Mama Gold. Hi, Rex. Gonna search through some toys now. <laughs> Here, hold it. The camera? Yeah, but like as a selfie like us. Oh, okay. <laughs> we just cashed out, guy. Got all our bags. We got three big bags, spent about 50 bucks. Zach got his. Zach two spent bags. about 50 bucks. <laughs> we gotta go this two way. bags, yeah. I don't know where we're walking. I don't know. Big <laughs> yeah, Huge bag. <laughs> no. Guys, the snow is still not here. Do you want to put it in the trunk? Yeah, yeah. probably. I'm gonna put this. We gotta unlock here. it. Hold on. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that was our there. bowl. That's how it's done, guys. <laughs> Off to the next Stop. thrift. Getting in the car here. Oh, so warm. Ah. Thank you. Hand sanitizer. Uh, okay, off to Savers. Yep. So, real quick, as we're driving to the next thrift store, all three of us are gonna gonna explain our story <laughs> for this. If you guys are interested. So, if you didn't catch my live yesterday, I was explaining how I started and I was doing construction work uh, in the summer of 2018 and I mean I was not happy with my life and I mean thank God I had my girlfriend to get me through those times but like I said I was not happy I wasn't making any money I could not pay I could only pay for my bills that was it I couldn't we couldn't go out to eat ever we couldn't have date night or anything so the one day I was watching YouTube videos about how to make money online and one of them really stuck out onto selling your stuff, like selling things online. And that was actually from Rake and Profit. I know I mention his channel all the time. But he inspired me to go out thrifting. So I had no money, obviously, to start thrifting. So I had to sell my pair of shoes. I had two pairs of shoes that I wore. Not every day, but every other day. I, I liked these pairs of shoes, but I took the one pair that I didn't like as much, and I sold them for $25 on a local uh, selling app because I didn't know anything to do about shipping or nothing. I had no clue about anything, sorry. <laughs> so I sold them on Let Go and I took that $25 and went right to the thrift store and spent it all in the thrift store. Pretty much my last $25 because I had no money to my name because I had to pay all my bills. And since then I've been reselling and selling on eBay. I learned how to sell on eBay. I got into shipping and that's pretty much how I started. It was a really, like, I don't even know how to say it. I'm just happy for, uh, to be able to find that in life. It's still super dark. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, so now Christina's gonna explain her story. That's tough. I was just really inspired by Zach and Martin with how well they were doing on like their eBay sales and really like listening to Steve Reagan's like YouTubes and all of his live streams like they're just so motivational to really like get started and actually somebody who I work with all the time who is I mean she's pretty well off in her life like didn't need to have like a job or anything but she um, did reselling when she was a stay-at-home mom just to like get all of her like extra cash and everything and she had crazy success with like really awesome designer bags and stuff and that just really like motivates me to yeah do it all the time <laughs> and motivates the both of us yeah I think that's that's what really got me started into it is just mm -hmm. that. <laughs> and then we got my man Zach back here what up it's your right, story so I'm currently still in college in my last semester of an associate's degree for general studies. So I went to college because because I was supposed to and it was the right thing to do. My, my parents wanted me to and everything, but I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So that's where I was just in general studies and I wasn't majoring in anything that I, like, in specific. So I didn't know what exactly I wanted to do and I was constantly saying that people would ask me what do you want to do I said I don't know so they're like oh why are you going to school and I'm like this is the right <laughs> thing to do so see I feel like people get caught up in that all the time like their parents or their friends are going to school that they're graduating with and you like all my friends that I went to school with they all were getting ready for college and everything by senior year and I was like not for me. I'm not. I don't know what I'm going to college for. I'm not gonna rush into it for no reason. Sorry to cut you off yeah. there. <laughs> and I was just gonna say, like, that's because a lot of it too is like a lot of kids, like myself, when I was out of high school. Like, you know, I didn't tell my, I didn't, I didn't know what I wanted to do, and I wasn't comfortable telling my parents I didn't want to go to college because they they really wanted me to and everything. And I didn't know that's exactly not. I thought. All right, maybe I could use college, get a business degree, and do something with that. But at the same time, I was like uh, up in the air. I don't know. So I went to a local cheap college. I don't dorm or anything. So I go to a community college. It's pretty cheap. So I'm not in any debt or anything. So that's where it's good. And I was I'm grateful enough to have found reselling within the past couple of months while I'm in my last semester of college. So I'm at. I'm confident to say I don't want to go to, or I want to. I want to finish up my degree and then stop. Probably there, not. Basically. Yeah, probably not going to do anything with it. Is because yeah. reselling has been just such a such a great journey so far. It's like my first two months, and I've already made over a thousand dollars. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's changed all our lives. And the amount of just the amount of education I've I've gained or knowledge I've gained has been. Unreal. Like, it's been more, more than, than schools taught yeah. in the last three yeah. semesters. So what Zach is saying, he's learned more the past couple months watching YouTube videos and reselling and doing physical work than he has in college doing book work and homework and all that mumbo yeah, jumbo. Like, I, mean, I went to college for three years and dropped out and that was the toughest decision I made because I didn't know what I was going to do after that and I really feel like I don't know, I don't have right. to go back to school now. Like yeah. I'm doing good without it, so. So, if all three of us can do it, you guys can do it too. We're just pulling up to our savers. We got it right there. Nice good shot. We're gonna be going thrifting for a little bit in here. This is the second store we're hitting. And yeah, we're gonna be getting some good deals hopefully. Hopefully people haven't already picked through it. <laughs> Let's get it! So we're walking in now, entering Savers. It's still not snowing, but it's definitely it's cold and windy. I got off for the rest of the week for school, so yeah, it's, snow's coming. This school is canceled. Next day. Blue tag. Driving cart, looking for blue tags. 40% off all active wear. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not finding anything over here. Oh, we got Thomas the Train. I'm 
I'm gonna go through these really quick. Okay guys, so we're headed out early. Zach's still in there. I gotta go to work. Yeah, I gotta drop her off at work. Obviously you guys know she works like right over there. So quick little drop off. Wow, the snow is it's starting. snowing like crazy now guys. It started, it's windy, it's cold. But we're still thrifting, we're still sourcing. <laughs> Gotta find that gold for you guys. Yes. Goodbye. Uh, yes. And smash that. <laughs> Alright, time to head back to Savers. Cause Zach is there, still picking, still sourcing. So guys, I was picking through this rack of new clothes right here, and a lady actually came up to me thinking I was a worker. She was trying to buy something. <laughs> but yeah, always go through the new racks if you ever see them out. Definitely don't want to pass those up. I think Zach's over there looking at some hats. You find anything? Uh, a couple of things. Uh, Show the viewers what you found. Still deciding on the Atari flashback. Okay. So it's on Amazon and I'm not restricted. So I could sell it for like 40 on Amazon. How much can you pick it up for? 19.99, so 20. So a $20 flip? But on eBay it sells for like $20 all the time. I would not go with that. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. It's eBay is supposed to be the safety net. <laughs> what else did you find? Three of these bags for $1.99. It's a bunch of Minecraft figures on the inside of the TNT block. Okay. Peg. You gotta bundle it? Bed. Yeah, I'm just gonna bundle it all together probably for like 25 bucks. Yeah. I can make 20 bucks on that. Some little people, which is blue, so it's half off. Oh, I'm still deciding on these. Okay. I don't know what literally any of this stuff is besides the cow, the horse, and the sheep. So I put those three together in, yeah. a, in a bundle for it. Maybe I'll get like 15. What so. else you got in there? T82. Oh, you're famous for these calculators. Yeah, this for like 19. I was gonna pick that up the other day actually, but I left it. Should be good, dude. I'm excited to turn this thing on and everything. We got an iPod, uh, iPod Nano. I think it's a first generation. So, I think these go for like 100 bucks. I don't know. And then these. Oh, wow. Mike Wazowski, and they're half off, so only a dollar. Mike Wazowski and I don't know what that one is. I forgot its name. Comment down below if you remember yeah. his name. Oh, it's Sullivan, no. No, no, it's not Sully. But uh, yeah, we don't remember his name, so leave in the comments what his name like 10 was. Bucks each, so. 10 bucks each, not bad. Good finds. I got a couple good things in my cart. Not as big as the last uh, thing. Found that H&M uh, jacket for six bucks. It's got all the zippers, nice, no dude, stains. Paw Patrols, dude. <laughs> Guys, really I found nice. more Paw Patrol. If you know me, you know I love Paw Patrol. Got some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Like G.I. Joe's in here. Yeah, I think these are some G.I. Joe's. You can pick that up for four See, bucks. We need to figure out how to tell. And then, we need to learn. I already showed you guys this Nautica that I got. I think we're probably gonna be cashing out here soon anyways. Don't, I mean, we've already been picking for a good half hour here now. Yeah. Gonna go through more clothes and then probably head out of here. Hit up our Goodwill on the way back. We just cashed out. I got my bag. He's got his bag. That's Savers. Store number two. About to go hit up a Goodwill now. Hitting all three. We got Amvets, Savers, and now Goodwill. Hopefully we, can up. Hopefully we can find some better deals at Goodwill then. These last couple stores. Wow, my hair is crazy from this wind. Like I said, guys. Keep saying this, but we get in this blizzard soon. It's crazy. It's about to be freezing temperatures. I think it's supposed to get like negative 20 tonight or tomorrow night. So we'll definitely be 
inside listing. That's why we're doing all our sourcing today. That was a real close up shot of my face. So yeah, super excited for the stuff that we've picked up already and excited for more. Love doing this, love reselling, love, uh, <laughs> love thrifting. Zach's all about his stuff. What is, oh, show him what you just found right before you cashed out actually. I'm uh, hanging by the, they have these little, like a showcase almost. Well, it's by the yeah, showcase. Just like little racks by the uh, counter there. It's like a, I don't, I have to, I'm gonna have to look more into it, but it's called the Canon Sure Shot. Has the strap and the case with it, and they're selling for like 50, so that's, $3.99. That was a good find, that's some gold right there. All right guys, we're pulling up to our last uh, stop of the day. This Goodwill, here probably ever, <laughs> here probably every day. Christina's not here, she's at work. So yeah, we're about to be going in, looking for some gold. So we're headed in, looking for some deals. I think it's blue tags are 50% off. Not dollar tag day, that's on Saturdays. It's a bummer. All right guys, I just cashed out the Goodwill. It's got a nice diamond ring, huge diamond ring. I'm gonna give this to Christina as a joke. Got a bag, I only spent about 15 bucks in there. It was fit, uh, it was, oh, uh, sorry about the wind, guys. Let me hop in the car. Look, I keep saying, it's getting horrible outside. It's not snowing yet, but it's getting really cold and really windy. But yeah, I only spent about $15 in there. I mean, this ring was $5. Well, it was $10 actually, but I got it for half off. I don't know if you'll even be able to see that. It was $10. But I mean, for five dollars, a nice little joke that goes Christina. And I've actually always wanted a, one of these uh, giant diamonds, so that's pretty cool. Picked up a bunch of uh, shirts. Yeah, just a couple of shirts. I mean, I'll show you guys everything that I got when I get home. And um, yeah, the only reason why Zach's not with me right now is because this lady that was cashing out asked for his help to carry a box out to her car and she's still not even cashed out. So I'm waiting for him now, and yeah, I don't really know. Just waiting. Okay, got all my stuff. Huge haul, too much stuff. Oh, there's something blocking the camera. It's from my bag I'm holding in my hand right here. It's from a little uh, toy phone, actually. Fisher Price, I believe. I'll show you guys all this stuff once I get inside and get situated. There's a lot. Big haul today. I'm gonna have to have Zach get the door for me. I can't even film. So much stuff. Thank you. Oh. Big haul. Get the camera right here. Get this door open. Oh, there's Finn again. Put all this stuff down on the couch right here. Oh, so yeah guys, that was the biggest haul. It didn't get bad out like I anticipated. It's still pretty nice, but man, did I get a lot of stuff today. I think I spent over, definitely over $160. Oh, Finn, what's up Finn? How's it going, bud? So yeah, I'm gonna get myself situated and then I'll show you guys all this good stuff. Okay guys, so now that I'm all situated, I'm all set. Got my stuff right here on the ground. You can't see it really. Got things cleaned up because it's always a mess in here. I'm gonna start going through my bags. Um, I guess we'll start with the smallest one first. So this is an Amvets bag. I know we had two of them, but this is just one of them. This is gonna be all scattered, so sorry about that. Um, we picked up this Fisher Price uh, phone thing, it still rings. Uh, we got it for two dollars. Two dollars right there, so not a bad little Fisher Price phone. Nice vintage piece. Still learning on the vintage. I watch a lot of um, 
Retro Drunk, his channel. I'll put his link in the description below. Check him out. He's got really uh, cool vintage finds. And then this bag, this was a $3 toy bag. So we got like all these cars in here. There was a little people, another little people right there. There's a tow mater, a couple cars. I always forget that I could just pull stuff out. I always try to, <laughs> I don't think I could do that. So we got this monster truck right here. Just a lot of stuff in this bag, so that's why we went with it. This Toy Mater. He's from Cars, he's pretty cool. We'll be selling him, we'll be selling all of it. Um, I think this was from Amvets as well. Yeah, from these tags. We picked up these two Paw Patrols, I love Paw Patrol. So they still have the tags, they went for 80 cents. I don't even know if, if we could sell these for two, three dollars plus shipping. That would be, that would be cool. I just know those were sell. Uh, we showed you this in the store. Picked up this All Star mug. I think it was fifty cents or a dollar. Whenever it, yep, fifty cents for this All Star mug. Nice and clean. Cool mug. It's got the gold top. And then. Picked up this snowman to bundle with another snowman that we have. Another 50 cent mug. So yeah, nice little snowman. Uh, this was actually for my mom. <laughs> this Pyrex bowl. She wanted one of these, so we picked her that up. Three dollars. Um, I think this bag was from... Oh no, this was from... Amvets as well, just a different bag. We picked up this Finding Nemo pillow pet. It's got the Velcro, the Disney. Is that pillow pet? Yeah, the pillow pet. This is a Finding Nemo. I think it was only a dollar. Yeah, it was actually two dollars. But a nice pillow pet. I think we could sell this for about 15 bucks. Um, picked up a lot of shirts. We picked up a lot of shirts there actually, I forgot about that. We picked up this one, there's an LRG. It's got the bird on the front, the flamingos, I think he's drinking something, yeah. The LRG tag, it's got the tag right there. This was only, what does that say? Four dollars, <laughs> so not a bad find. Uh, picked up this Nike shirt. I think Christina found this one for another four dollars. It's got the embroidered Nike. It's got that like um, that dry fit. Yeah, it's the training. It's embroidered training Nike right there. Let that focus. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna really let this focus for you guys because this is a cool tag. So let me get this. There. So yeah, the training with the Nike symbol. This is a cool shirt. No stains, no rips, no tears. It's what I'm always looking for. Uh, there was actually like five or six Nike shirts all in a row, not even on the racks or anything. They didn't have hangers, so we picked them all up. I think they were they were three dollars each. They got the Nike embroider right there. This is a red one. And then, let me just try to find these. There we go. We got a gray one with a black Nike on it. And then another gray one with a white Nike on it. Ow, just hit my elbow. And I thought we had another one. Maybe I'll find it. I'm, I don't know. We picked this up. It's a FUBU. Like a sport, um, what is this? Just like a long sleeve, I guess. Fubu, what size is this? Extra large. So Fubu, extra large. We picked it up for five dollars. Nice Fubu. That's a cool name, Fubu. I could say that all day. <laughs> picked up this Nautica sweatshirt. It's like 
another, um, it's like a knitted Nautica piece. Very nice, it's got the stripes, the Nautica tag. My, my back is killing me right now. Oh. Oh. Okay. So yeah, I picked up that Nautica. That was only, what was that? Five dollars. Actually, this was blue tag, so this was only like 250 something actually because blue tags were half off. So some of that could have actually been half off. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to what tag what color tags they were. This was from So that's goodwill. Okay, so this is still um I lost track where I got this, guys. This is so much. I'll go through these clothes more. So we picked up this. This was at uh, this was at Amvets. We found a Funko Pop Deadpool shirt, Marvel. I honestly might just keep this one to wear it. It's got a uh, the whole tag right there, Funko Pops, Deadpool. I think it's an extra large. Yeah, I might honestly just be wearing this because this is an awesome shirt. I'm really mad because we don't have this Funko actually, but that is just a really cool shirt. Um, this Timberland sweatshirt we picked up. I think this was pretty cheap. This was only five dollars. The Timberland tag. Just a nice sweatshirt. I think it's a large. Yep. It's got the Timberland on the sleeve right there. So this is a nice piece. There's no rips, no stains. Very clean. Um, oh, here's the other Nike shirt. So a blue one with a white Nike embroider. Yeah, these were all like three bucks. And then this was still, so this was Savers. This was some other stuff that we got some from Savers. Picked up this H&M jacket. H&M, it was only $6. It's got nice zippers, nice puffy inside, no rips, no stains. It's got the other inside tag right here. So yeah, really nice jacket, H&M. Um, another toy bag. This has, can you guys guess what's in there? Paw Patrol, <laughs> of course. There's three more of these little Paw Patrol guys. We sold one of these already for, actually we sold two of them for, I think they were $9 each plus like $3 shipping. So if you ever see these little Paw Patrol guys, definitely pick them up. I think there was a, I don't even know. This is some random car that was in there. Probably worth nothing. Got the bag for Paw Patrol. How much did I pay? Paid four bucks for that bag. And I'm pretty sure I can flip all of those Paw Patrols, all three of them for about, I could do a lot of them for probably maybe $25, but I could sell them all separately for about $9 each. So that's a good flip. This was a, a Van Heusen shirt actually, brand new with the tags. So I went and picked it up. It's Van Heusen. I've never seen a Van Heusen uh, tag like that. I think it might be newer or it might be older. But it's got the tags. The tag actually says the retail price was $36. If you guys can see that. So with the tag, it says $36. Maybe we can get like $20 plus shipping for that. Um, another toy bag. So this toy bag was actually inspired by Retro Drunk Brandon. There was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle in there. I don't know if he really goes for anything. I'll try to get that. Not sure if he goes for anything, but just picked this up, so figure he'd appreciate that. That's pretty cool. I know he's really into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There was um, a Darth Vader in here. I want this focus. So we have this Darth Vader, and then a couple GI Joes actually. I believe these are GI Joes. Let's focus. So hopefully these can go for some good cash. And then this is for my collection. This is a this is cool. A nice little Spider-Man. I love Marvel. So I don't know if this guy goes for anything, but 
I don't mind hanging on to them. That was a $4 bag. Pretty much bought it just for the G.I. Joes because G.I. Joes do sell uh, very well. And then last in this bag was this. This was a pretty good find. I'm going to stand up for this one. This was a Nautica. It's like a hand knit, it says. Nautica. It was only $6. So it's got its tag, size large. Nice piece. It's just crazy colors. It's got the American flag on the back. That's pretty cool. Oh, and on the front. So yeah, hopefully that goes for some good cash, maybe like 30 to 35 bucks. Rolling all over these bags. And then this was the Goodwill find. This was, actually I was walking out, not really walking out, but I was walking to the cash register and I, this caught my eye. It was a women's North Face sweatshirt. There's no stains or anything. I think it was, um, it's a size small. Yeah, it was blue tag, so it was half off. So it was $3 or three something instead of six. That focuses. So yeah, blue tags at uh, Goodwill were half off today. So I picked up that North Face. I picked up, what is this? Another Nautica shirt. This was a nice Nautica polo. Right there, it was blue tag, so it was half off. Half off of four bucks, so two bucks. Um, this shirt was, oh, this was actually another Nike shirt with the embroider. This was a black one I found. This was two dollars as well, but that was at Goodwill. It's a different material though. This is that dry fit material. This is a really nice one. And then last thing I bought, this was not for resale. This is a nice white sheet. I might honestly either put this up here or I might, I'm gonna be setting up an area for pictures. So I don't know if I'm gonna be setting up right behind me. I might, cause that might look better for my videos. I'm not 100% sure yet. But yeah, I picked up this white sheet. It was only $2. I've actually had my eye on um, one of these for a little bit. I'll show you right there two dollars for a nice white sheet so yeah that was today's haul we got a lot of stuff I'll show you guys right here angle the camera down so we picked up all these clothes there's a ton of clothes here we picked up this clock or this phone all these toys angle this down a little more got a bunch of toys here so yeah, I think today's haul was a pretty good success. We spent about at least over $160, so uh, quite expensive, but definitely gonna make our money back plus more with all the stuff that we got by selling it on eBay. And yeah, that was um, <laughs> that was all it, guys. That was thrifting for gold number 11. I'm super happy that this series is uh, still going on. I love doing this. I love going to thrift stores and showing you guys what I get in my hauls. And I know I usually go on dollar day, but wanted to go out today because I thought the weather was going to be worse. So we wanted to go out sourcing before the weather got bad because it's actually getting pretty bad out right now. So we got all our stuff. This will take us maybe till the weekend uh, list and then on Saturday we'll be hitting up Dollar Day again. So stay tuned for that video because Dollar Day is where I go crazy. I spend maybe 10 bucks and I get just so much stuff. I get all of what I got today plus more and I don't even spend nearly as much money as I did today. So make sure to check out those videos. Subscribe to this channel. I got the link down below. Hit, hit up my Instagram. I'm always on Instagram. Hit up my Facebook, I got those links down below as well. Just like this video if you guys enjoyed it and leave a comment if you got any questions. Or I get back to my comments I, like instantly guys. I'm always uh, answering my comments. So leave a comment down below if you wanna know more about this video or just more about me or more about my girlfriend or anything guys. So yeah, that was Thrifting for Gold number 11. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Martin from Thrift Store Gold. Peace guys.